Hi guys, it's Dan here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the plagiarism checker within Grammarly Pro. So the first thing you want to do for this is actually get the uh, Chrome extension or the Chrome plugin for Grammarly, which is just here on this website. Uh, it's really easy to find. Just Google uh, Grammarly plugin for Chrome and it'll pop up for you. And then once you've actually got that downloaded and it's on your tab here, as you can see that little green image, uh, what you want to do is you want to get your article to have a look at plagiarism for. So for this one, we're going to use this example article here. Now, how this plagiarism tool works is obviously if you've already got an article that's uploaded on your website and it's cached within Google, if you were to upload that into Grammarly, then it will notice it's already uploaded and it will come back with a 100% plagiarism score, as obviously it will be referring back to the article that's already online. So this tool is actually really good for those that haven't uploaded an article yet and actually want to check if there's any plagiarism within that actual article that you're about to upload. So this is great for people, obviously, that may have content writers or people, you know, uh, within the marketing team writing articles for them. And um, obviously, as people write articles a lot, they can make mistakes. They can kind of uh, write the same things here or there. And it can become duplicated just by accident purely. So um, it's really good to check this kind of thing. And obviously, then when you're uploading your content, you've got no worries about your, uh, you know, any duplicated content or any plagiarism in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this uh, content over here, all the content, press copy on that. And then as you can see up here, you want to go to this Grammarly for Chrome and just press new document. And it will pop up with a brand new page for you to use for that article. So once we're in here, uh, you obviously put your content in there. As this is a new article, it doesn't actually have a title. So I'm just going to put an example title for this one as a brand new online casino site. Something like that because it's just in that first page there. But obviously you'd have a title ready for that one. So um, I previously mentioned in my other video uh, how to actually use Grammarly for all of these things here on the right hand side, including the correctness, the clarity, engagement. And as I hover over, it does say, you know, like correctness is kind of highlighting what needs improving based on spelling, grammar and punctuation. Uh, the clarity helps make you uh, helps, uh, make writing easier to understand for the view uh, for the reader. Uh, the engagement says helps to make your writing more interesting and effective delivery, etc. And these are things that you actually just go through um, as you're kind of doing it. So obviously this red one here where it says correctness, if I was to click that, it would give me suggestions to make that to make. So I do that. And uh, as you make those changes, your uh, score in the corner in the top right here goes up. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that as I did a, a separate video on that. But uh, if you just click on the um, video here that's going to pop up for you, then you'll be able to watch the full video of how to use Grammarly for the actual um, changes here on the right hand side. But assuming you know that already, and you're assuming you've kind of got your uh, content score, you know, perfect. Let's imagine I've gone through all these changes here, and I've got my content score from maybe an 84 to a 95, which is very reasonable with those changes being made. Uh, the next thing I would check with this before I uploaded it is the plagiarism. So what you do is you go down to the bottom right here where it says plagiarism, um, and you just click that there, and it will load up for you. So what this is doing is it's actually analyzing um, all of this content that we've just uh, posted in. Uh, based on everything that's on, on online and it's actually showing the plagiarism score there at the top as 8%. So it's not too bad but there is a few things there that are overlapping and it's really great actually because it actually shows which site it's overlapping with. So um, you know one this one down here is actually our website so we're not too worried about that one. But obviously at the same time we don't really want duplicated content with any website. So we're going to have a look at all of these changes here today. And there's some more here you know like this Amer americagambles.com we really don't want kind of the same content as them because they are a competitor to us. So we don't want to have the same content even if it is accidental. So what we'd then do is we actually go through and change that and obviously make that uh, better for uh, the reader and for the Google as well. So the first one it's saying here is uh, this is the reason we have attempted to make sure that it is uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's saying it's got the exact same content here as this blog. So with that being said, all you literally do is just change that over. So um, you could say so basically what you're looking for um, to give an example, sorry is when you're looking at this sentence here, which is saying it's plagiarized, you're looking at words that you can change to make it unique, basically. So basically saying the exact same thing as what it's saying, but making it unique. So it's saying, this is the reason we have attempted to make sure that it is as easy as possible. So you could say something along the lines of, this is why we've um, tried to make it as easy as possible. And then even with those changes there, as you can see, if I go off of that, um, it's actually completely, you know, removed the plagiarism. So I've made it an, an, a unique enough basically for um, Grammarly and for Google to say that sentence now is completely unique and it has nothing to do with what you previously had something to do with. So it's little tweaks like that. And, and obviously this one does only have 8%. So there's not too many to go through, but you'd be very surprised. You know, sometimes you get results come back at 20, 30% and you do have quite a lot to change. Uh, but just to go through, I'll change some more of these now to give you an example. So this sentence here, it's saying is from this blog. Um, so again, we can change that over. So we could say uh, internet casino jackpots. So online casinos, um, online casinos and jackpots. Um, um, so you could say online casino, casinos and jackpot bonuses are offered. So that makes sense again. So that's just changed that. And again, it's got rid of it. 
Another one here, there are numerous games to choose. So again, this is that America Gambles one. So we're a bit more bothered about this as this is actually, you know, a money page, it's not a blog. It's something that we would really like to change if we don't want to have the same content as them. I mean, it's only a small sentence and it's likely that Google isn't going to be too bothered about it, but it's always just worth kind of changing these uh, within the settings. So there are numerous games to choose from. Like, so you could say there are lots of different games to choose from. And then again, like I said, that's changed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you an example of, of that. I'm going to go through and fix these final errors. As you can see, it's gone from 8% to 5% now. So we're going to try and get that down to zero or as close as possible and then come back to the video and kind of just summarize. Yep, so there we go, guys. I mean, that literally took about two minutes. I probably could have carried, you know, running the video, but it kind of was just worth it for, you know, the uh, intents and purposes. But we finished that now. And as you can see, plagiarism is completely 100% original, the text. So there's absolutely no plagiarism, 0% on that. And uh, that honestly took me, you know, like I said, about a couple of minutes. And the whole article then is completely unique. So ready to upload with confidence. And um, obviously, like I said earlier, the overall score is, you know, it's gone up a tiny bit from changing the plagiarism. But what we want to do is actually work through and make sure that that kind of is, uh, you know, around probably anywhere over a 90, 95 type of thing is perfect. Because um, that's, that's a lot better for Google that way. But uh, like I said, you go through those and change them. If you want to have a look at the separate video on how to do that, then we've created that and you can find that here. But uh, overall, that's how you use the plagiarism uh, tester here on Grammarly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys later.